Good morning, my whimsical waffle iron of wonder. So we're moving out of this room and into a room that they, they call like the Ronald McDonald family room. It's kind of a, a nice area for families, except, don't get me wrong, it's very nice, except you, you can't have your whole family there, so no kids. Seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Anyway, how are we feeling today? I just got to hold my child. I held him for like two minutes or so when he first came out. Came out. <laughs> Not the closet, just of my wife's vagina. <laughs> um, I just held him for like an hour. It's the first time in nine days now. But the Ronald McDonald family room thing have like snacks and stuff. So this is one of them, an uncrustable. First of all, okay, what is this? It's a peanut butter and grape jelly sandwich, jelly being jam. This was in the freezer. Not quite sure what that is. Um, also, the crust has been cut off. I guess that's the uncrustable's name. I've been in the States now for what, 11, 12 years? Never had an uncrustable. So today we changed that. I had to leave it to defrost. Feels moist, which is weird for bread, isn't it? The crust kind of feels like a piece of semi-cooked pasta. Pleasant. I've never had grape jelly before. Grape jam. This is. I think this is actually my first ever PB and J. Which is weird because my wife loves them. In fact, that was the first meal thing she wanted to eat after she just given birth. So, good form here. There's peanut butter on both sides, which I'd never done before. I would never have done. In fact, when I've made them for my wife, I've never put peanut butter on both sides. What's in it? 10 grams of protein. I'm gonna find Sam Sullock eating 10 of these a day. More like a thousand, a hundred. Right, but now, now you get to the point where the jelly is all on one side. So I've got to be quite technical about this. I've got to go get some jelly in the old gob and then go for a side with no jelly. I think when you see the list of ingredients like this, you know it's probably not the best thing for you. And then, should we wash it all down with some chocolate milk? No, because I've already put it away in the bag to move over rooms. What was it I had yesterday that was all stuck to my teeth? The semi-cooked pancake. But by the way, I spent probably an hour, maybe a bit more, last night before I went to bed, blurring out his face. It was like a 40, 30, 40 minute shot of us making pancakes and he was in it the whole time. So I spent a long time blurring his face out. But the video, I'm so glad I filmed it. I'm so glad like I'm, I'm doing this and doing these experiences because it's really cute. It's really cool 
watching the things he does, his mannerisms, like this is things that I don't notice because I never just, I never just watch him do his stuff, right? Like I'm normally conversing with him, doing something with him, but being able to see it from like that third perspective is really cool. So I'm glad I filmed it. I have a lot of work though. But the way the last few videos have gone on TikTok, um, I'm not going to draw too much from it at the moment, but trying to go that more like natural, authentic style of video. I need, I do, <clears throat> I'm not going to judge how these videos are doing right now because I haven't, I haven't developed too much of the process. Like they, there is going to be a step through process similar to how I have been making TikToks. Like there's a step process. And I've got a pretty good idea of what that will be, if not just keeping the same one, but just doing it all in what I would call live action like this and more conversational versus the way I write my scripts is very like impactful and thought through. And I could just try, you know, a happy medium. There, I, I think there are three ways to do this. Let's just change the angle here because... Bit trash in it. Very nice. Because we've got my style, which is well thought out uh, voiceover. And you have a, what I would call like a medium style, which is do the thing, get all the clips, put them in a timeline, and then just do a voiceover over the top, kind of just naturally, like as if I'm watching all those clips, and then I'm just talking over the top. Nothing planned out, but I still follow a process of like, hook, what I want to do, step, 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 step. And then I think the next iteration of that, like if we're thinking about just uh, the ability to make the best piece of content while shifting, because doing it all live action, you can't save it in post without voiceover, I don't think. It's, it's much more difficult to save in post with voiceover, without voiceover. So I think we have our current position. Next position is to do the thing and then do yeah the authentic voiceover over the top as if I'm thinking things through. I don't know actually, just kind of thinking through it. Because then, I guess like I've, I've always had this thought that the shot, the visual needs to match what's being said. And I think that's kind of a, a trapping myself thing. I, I do like doing it that way and I would like to do it that way, but that might also just trap me a little bit too. But if we can do the experience, the thing, the side quest, and have it in my mind of like, what type of things should I be saying and doing next? While also having a decent hook, because it's like, if you don't, if you can't get someone to stay past three or five seconds, the rest of it doesn't matter, no matter how authentic or likable the person is. So it's like I have to, as much as I hate doing those like in your face hooks, they kind of have to be because I, I think I'm coming to the realization that the hook obviously is going to set up the whole thing for the viewer. But having a, like when I think hook, I think one of them's like, today I did this, battery's about to run out. Right, back at it. Oh, but I actually thought I'd put Spider-Man gameplay over the top this time because I'm out walking the dogs. Can't be filming that, sorry. So, gameplay over the top. Don't know why I didn't think of that before. Um, also, Oliver, insert this, at this point, insert finishing off the last topic because you can't remember what it is. Aha. And then the other thing, the other one is 
something that really captures your attention, like something really impactful visually, or mm, yeah, I think mostly like visually, or something that said that is you know just something to capture your attention. It, and I'm saying more like what their thoughts are on it. Like, this is the craziest thing you'll hear today. That kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. Like of all the person is. I'm just listening to it a bit of it again. So it's like I have to... Yeah, so which... I, I think I'm going to have to go with the former of those. Which is, uh, maybe I can try and tame it down a little bit. Um, and but you feel like the topic then has to be super interesting. What could I do in that intro? Does the does the topic have to be really really interesting? Yes, I think it does. Until such time as people are like, oh, I've seen this guy's face before. I've skipped him four times. Maybe I'll give him a try this time. You know. I don't know, I think that was the, the rest of the thought. Just going, yeah. Alright, I had this really, what I think is a really good idea. <laughs> it might be stupid. But I saw a TikTok of this girl. I can't remember her name now. And I think her podcast is called Inner Monologue. And it's basically, she just talks about her, I guess, like, somewhat similar to the type of thing I do. Like, having this inner thought that constantly runs. Um... But her microphone had Spotify, had a Spotify logo and Spotify written on it. I'll, I guess I'll just do a screenshot here. And it looks, I, I remember definitely thinking, oh, it must be like sponsored by Spotify. So I guess I'll give it a chance because of that. And what, <laughs> it sounds kind of scammy now that I'm thinking about it even more. But what if I put like a YouTube logo across the, like my, one of my mics here? You think it would look a little bit more professional? Yeah, watch me just put it on wonky, and then it just looks like trash. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to have a look, or see if I can just print. I'm sure I, I think I have the materials to actually print one, and make one. So maybe... Oh, I can't do that with Ruger tomorrow. Uh, when can I try that next? I'm not sure, but... I'll write it down, and I will try that, so maybe the day after. Like, so Shay and I switch in and out of looking after Ruger. So, it's like, she's at the hospital now. I'm here, and then we'll just switch over at, like, midday. And one of those at the hospital, and, of course, I'm not really going to be doing work at the hospital. And then the other is um, looking after Ruger. Dude, I was just taking a dump, and I'm trying to find it because it's dark. Uh, where is it? Um, it turns out the girl actually does have a show on Spotify. Um, I don't know why I needed to finish that sentence off. Oh, yeah. Dude, I had this whole play out in my head earlier. Uh, so I made a short... So every day I'm taking so many photos of like personal stuff... I might do it for the day in the life video. I might do it just because I know that it's a shot that I want for a TikTok later on. Or maybe it's for this pod vlog. I hate the idea of having to go back and check through each of them to try and pick out or which one goes to which one where. <laughs> so I made an Apple shortcut that every time you take a video and close the camera app, it automatically pops up the list of different albums that you have so you can create them if need be, and you can select which one you save that last piece of media to. Which is, has been amazing. I've only, like I made it a couple of days ago, and it is so good. I found it so much easier, so every time, yeah, I just finish a video, or take, or video, you know, gosh, I finish a video, or take a photo, I just swipe up, closing the camera app, even if I've opened it from the lock screen. And then I get a pop-up at the top of the screen. Just, I go... <laughs> oh, gosh. I've missed out the whole 
the whole piece of this, which was that I had this conversation with myself. So let me pull up my phone and see how this went. Oh gosh, the light's still on. Um, hold vlog note. So remind me, oh yeah, that I was going to say, like I was going to touch on that, uh, the album shortcut that I was just talking about. I was going to touch on it and I, then I was going to say, well actually I'll wait to show you that. Oh, I, guess, I guess I can just do it right now, can't I? I can do a screen recording and show you. Um, microphone on, yes. Okay, so the shortcut. Oh wait, I need to take a video first. So let's say this is the video. Oh gosh, uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm not even gonna include that screen recording. I'm gonna delete it right now, in case I accidentally leave it in, and I'm starting this again. Sorry. Um, I just don't want to dox myself. If you know, if that was ever gonna become a thing. Okay, start the screen recording again. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. So, this video, brilliant Oliver. Okay, cinematic masterpiece. So I finish recording, I swipe up, and then I wait for it. I'll put that in pod vlog. And then, if I go into my photos and I find my photo album, it's there. I'm not gonna go into it right now. Gosh, dogs. Um, yeah, I think that's really cool. What's the other thing? Oh yeah, um, so Ruger was playing with a spray bottle and he's soaking the wall with it. So I said, Ruger, stop like, spraying it at the wall, please. And he turned around. I don't know if this was, <laughs> he turned around and started spraying it on the banister. And I don't know if to him that was like a loophole. It's like, uh-huh, but you didn't say banister, did you? Or if it was just because it was the closest thing. Like here's a photo of the hallway. Um, also, sorry about the mess, we don't really have the luxury of time to keep the house clean yet, it's just not up there on the priority list of other things. Oh, it's flipping bag. Oh man, I am so... Sometimes I wonder how I've made it this far in life. I've remembered the story that I was mentioning earlier about... Oh gosh. The shortcuts. And how... It was all meant to be actually kind of like a, it would have turned out to be a funky marketing style. Like if I had these things on sale, it would have been funky marketing style to have had this conversation with myself. Like imagine it like a, <laughs> a very, very bad version of like a Theo Von outburst. You know, if like you were at that size where everyone knew your face and was like, oh, this guy does this kind of stuff. Like, that would be a typical thing for me, I think. But I don't even know if any of this makes sense. But I was actually going on to talking about one of the other. Like, I could have just... I was like, I'll remind everyone to like comment below so that I remember for tomorrow. Like, I see the notifications, I remember. I was like, oh, I could just like show off one of my other shortcuts I've made, which is just saying the words pod vlog note and it writes down whatever my next bit of text is or thought is into a note that had been created that day so there's another shortcut that runs at one minute past midnight each day and creates a new note inside of a folder so like pod vlog topics and then the actual date so now i have a record of all the notes that i take each day and it's all automated, which I think is actually really sweet. And then there's another shortcut that just uh, shows it on a quick look screen for you, like a preview screen. So you could say, um, oh, I can't even remember what the command is now. But you would just say that, similar to pod vlog note. I think it's a pod vlog quickie. Yeah, pod vlog quickie. And it'll show everything in that note. Uh, yeah, I like that. 
All right, well, I'm almost home. I hope you enjoyed the Spider-Man gameplay. <laughs> I should do like, oh dude, I would love to, like once I can afford the time and uh, like just go to go and get the games and whatever, I'd love to just sit and play like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. If I could, Pro Skater 3, but I doubt that's even playable anymore. And, oh, what was the other game? Like maybe some Sly Raccoon? Oh no, Ratchet and Clank, I think it was. Or was it Sly Raccoon? Yeah, Sly Raccoon. That game was so good on PS2, I think. Oh, I flipping love that game. I might just play it now and be like, this is pretty terrible. It was funny, actually, a friend I went to college with, um, they released a Ratchet and Clank game not too many years ago, I don't think. And him and I both got it with the mistaken memory but actually what we wanted was Ratchet, it was uh, Sly Raccoon. So we both stuck with this game that like was not the nostalgic thing that we always thought it was or that we thought it was when it came out. Yeah, downer. That one was a downer. I think tomorrow, I haven't picked out what fun thing to do with Ruger. It's so tough because he's so all over the place. Um, might go and get some glow sticks. Oh, uh, what was it? Yeah, well, glow sticks and a couple of things to make a really good uh, fort, like a at-home indoor fort. Um, we tried making one the other day, but since it was the day, it didn't work out that well. Should get like some industrial strength. Um, what are those lights that you crack? Dude, come on. You know which ones I mean? The stick lights. Get some of those. No, I'll probably just go and get the cheap ones from, what's it called? Dollar Tree. I had a little thought about thumbnails today. Like I, this, the same girl that I'm talking about with the inner monologue podcast, the Spotify thing. Um, I obviously then went to go and look at her uh, YouTube, I think it was. Oh no, I went to go look at her Spotify and I was like, oh, well, surely this is on YouTube as well. Um, it, I didn't actually find it, which got me thinking it was actually, well, then when I went back to Spotify, I saw that there was video on there, which I didn't actually know Spotify had started adding video to podcasts, which is kind of cool. Um, what do I mean kind of cool? I don't really care either way, because I have YouTube for that, if needed. But I did see that she had a personal channel, well, another channel that was like just her vlog channel, I guess. And it got me looking back at the like old vlog times where you just kind of there was no real strategy to it. It was just make a video with a title, put it up, which makes me not want to include the like side quest and pod vlog and whatnot. Maybe just like pod vlog 83. Go on, dude. You know? Okay, well, I'm home and I'm gonna go back and watch the footage and see what I should have talked about what I did talk about earlier, of course, because I remembered it. <laughs> All right, night, night.